A Chatsworth man is on trial for killing his mother's boyfriend last Christmas after a fight involving a shotgun. And John Phillips is accused in the death of 63-year-old Tommy Walraven. News Channel 9's Brianna Arredondo has the details from what happened during the first day on the stand. The jury here in Murray County heard opening statements today, and then the attention immediately shifted to what happened Christmas Day that led up to Tommy Walraven's death. That's the 911 call Terry Welch made after her boyfriend Tommy Walraven was badly injured in a fight with her son John Phillips last Christmas. A neurosurgeon described just how swollen Walraven's brain was that night. Did his, neuro, his neurological status, did that improve after the surgery? Immediately after surgery, he was basically the same as when he went in. Walt says her son was drinking and she was concerned. That had he gone crazy or what? And then his response was, F you. Today, the prosecution called witnesses to make their case that Phillips went too far when he beat Walraven over the head. The fight broke out after Walraven pulled a shotgun on the suspect. What Mr. Phillips is charged with, what we're going to talk in detail about, is what happened after. Phillips faces a charge of involuntary manslaughter. His defense attorney says it was all self-defense. That the evidence will show my client, Mr. Phillips, didn't know the gun wasn't loaded. Mr. Post told you in his opening that his mother knew it wasn't. And maybe the other, Mr. Walray knew it. But my client didn't know it. Phillips sat calmly in the courtroom today listening to all of the testimony and at some points during the descriptions of the victim's injuries, a few of Walraven's family members had to step out of the courtroom crying. Reporting in Chatsworth, Brianna Arredondo, News Channel 9. Now, if John Phillips is found guilty of involuntary manslaughter, he could face up to 10 years in prison. His trial continues tomorrow.